so hello friends let's discuss about array concept today about subscript and index how subscripts and index are indexes are uh, indices are used in cobol programs okay what is subscript what is index and how they are used first of all the array concept which we have in mainframe is used to collect the similar type of data similar type of data as in you imagine there is a school where in that school there are many classes each class has sections each section has students okay so if you have to collect all the data of for that school for all the classes suppose there are 10 classes each class has two three sections each section has 20 to 30 students if you have to collect the data of all the things under the school like all the classes all the sections all the students that you can do with the help of array that will be multi-dimensional array anyway. We will start today with a very simple array, which is one-dimensional array, and how we will write data into array and how we will fetch the data from the array. Now, it's a very, very simple program, okay? Just the basic one. So I have taken one program, array two, okay? okay. Here I have defined identification, division, program ID, and all of that. Now this array, you have to always define under data division working storage section. So Arrays cannot be defined in 0, 1 level number, okay? It cannot be defined because, as I said, if we have to collect the data of a school, okay? Because inside that school, there are multiple sections, multiple classes. Each class has multiple sections. Each section has many students. So you need to collect the data of the entire school. So there is only one school. So the school will come in first position, that is 0, 1 level number. You cannot run the school in an occurs clause because there is only one school. You need the data of the school. The school, there is only one school. Under the school, you need all the data. That is why the array concept, the occurs clause and everything cannot be written inside in 0, 01 level number. In 0, 01, you have to define one variable. That is the main array, main table, array table. Here, the array value will come and will be stored. So I have taken one variable, 0, 01 table under which I have taken one zero to level variable. I have taken WSA, picture clause X of four, value ABC occurs 10 times indexed by I. Now, what is the meaning of this? <clears throat> In very simple terms, subscript is the occurrence number and index is whatever you write here, indexed by I. Okay, now what is a subscript? In array, there are two processes. One is called writing the data into an array. One is called fetching the data from the array. Writing and fetching. So the writing happens with the help of subscript. The fetching happens with the help of index. That is the basic thing you should remember. It is in the simplest terms if you say while writing data into an array, you have to use subscript. While fetching data from the array, you have to use index. Okay. In interviews, if you are asked the difference between subscript and index, you can say in your bookish terms, okay? And, but the core concept of this is while writing the data into an array, the occurs clause, whatever you will use, that is called your subscript and the variable with which you are fetching, that is called your index. Now, what will happen here? There's a variable WSA whose length is four, whose value is ABC. Occurs 10 times means 10 times it will be written into the array. It is. It will keep on occurring. It is kind of a loop which will keep on performing, okay? Which will keep on performing and it will be written 10 times into the array. And with the help of this I, which is an index, you will be able to fetch the data from the array for each occurrence, okay? Now this index is a variable I, which you don't have to define in working storage section. Whenever you define any variable with index by clause, it automatically gets the feature of index. It, it does not have to be defined in the working storage section. However, if you use any occurs variable here, if you use any variable, dynamic variable, and there you pass the value from somewhere, that has to be defined in working storage section. But index does not have to be, okay? Index is not a working storage variable. It's a different thing only. Now here, what will happen is 10 times ABC will be written into the array and each occurrence of that is WSA. Now the value of WS table will be 10 ABCs. Okay. Now the difference between array and a file is whenever you write data into, an, into a file, it will come in vertical format. 
ABC under that one more ABC under that one more ABC like that. But when you write data into an array, it will come horizontally. ABC on the right hand side again, ABC again, ABC again, ABC like that. It will come in a line. But when you write data into a file, it will come in a vertical format. That is the difference. So array is a tabular concept in COBOL programming. It is also called a table. Okay. Now what I have done is here. <clears throat> here I have first of all displayed WS table after writing the data into an array what will be the value of WS table then this index by clause that you have the index the value of that the initial value is not set yet it is not set the initial value okay because it's not a working storage variable it does not have any value till now so with the set verb with the set verb you have you can set the variable value of it so i have set i to 1 means the initial value of i is 1 then with the same set only you can increment or decrement the value of i you can increase or decrease the value of i for working storage variable we have this right add plus 1 to i or something add minus 1 to i we use add verb but in the case of index, we have to use set verb. We cannot use add. And also, we have to set the value with set variable. Just uh, in case of working storage variables, we, we use move. Move 1 to, suppose, WSI. But here, you have to use set. So with the help of set, you have to set the value. And also, you can increase the value, decrease the value. Now, initial value of i, you have set as 1. Then you are incrementing it by 5. So the final value of i is becoming 6. Now, what I have done is, display wsi the meaning of that is becoming ws6 that means sixth occurrence of wsa find out sixth occurrence of wsa so with wsa is each occurrence of wsa is abc there are 10 occurrences of wsa in this array so there will be 10 abcs so <clears throat> first occurrence this is first occurrence WSA2 is second occurrence, WS3 is third occurrence, fourth occurrence. So like that, with the help of this i, which is index, you can fetch the value from the array of each occurrence. Now, in our case, each occurrence is ABC because we have hard-coded this value. There will be examples where the values will come from input files. I will show that example also in upcoming videos. You will have files. The file you will write into an array. There in the file, each record will be different. So in that case, each value will also be different in the array. But here, since I have taken a hard-coded value, each occurrence will be ABC. Now, whether I fetch WS1 or WSA2 or WSA3, each occurrence will be ABC only. But just for your understanding, just try to understand that index by clause is used to fetch the data from the array. Now, <clears throat> first of all, let me... compile this program next let me execute this so if you check the data and spool now in sys out so this is the array ws a so ws table sorry so see there are two displays first of all after writing data into an array you are displaying ws table now in ws table the data has been written in this format in one line horizontally so abc after that there is a space why there is a space because the length of wsa is four but you are writing only three characters so since it is alphanumeric on the right hand side there will be one space added so ABC space, ABC space, ABC space. So all 10 occurrences are present. This is WS table. Now each of these is one one occurs clause one in the array field. Okay. Now if you have to uh, fetch, so in our case, we have to uh, fetch the sixth occurrence of it. Sixth occurrence. So which is the sixth occurrence? This is first, this is second, this is third, this is fourth, this is fifth, this is sixth. So everything is ABC only. So this is the sixth occurrence. How will you fetch it? With the help of index. That is why at the time of declaring the array only, you have to define index index by also. If you don't define, you will not be able to use the index in your program. Whenever you write index by, this index by clause adds the feature in this array statement so that whenever the array is, uh, in the array the value is written with the help of that index you are able to fetch value so display ws i means display ws6 ws a6 
so this is the sixth occurrence it will be fetched and this is the value which is displayed abc okay so in an upcoming video i will show you i will take one sample lookup file or a reference file i will read the file and i will write the data into an array and i each record of the file will have different different values and i will show you how different different data is written into the array and with the help of index how you can fetch them okay this is just a basic example actually one student requested for subscript index example so i had give i have given this so now i am i will come up with more videos on uh, more videos on arrays one dimensional two dimensional three dimensional also and i'll show you how those work and also i will show you how from files data is written into the array and how th those are fetched and whenever we have a main file there where we have some certain values those values have to be validated from another file so that another file which is a lookup file will be written into the array and from the main file we will read the record and we'll try to uh search it in the array and if it is fine we will write the record in an output file otherwise we will not write so those kind of programs will i will come up come up with so till then keep studying this is a very important concept in your mainframe i know that in most many projects array concepts are not there it is not like it is not something which will be used just like that if there are these kind of scenarios where you have a file where you have some 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 valid branch names and those branch names have to be validated from another file in those kind of concepts arrays are used okay otherwise it is not used much so i know in all projects it's not there but it is very important to know for interview purposes at least and also if in your project if you have any requirement which is coming so to crack to do that uh, requirement to make sure that you are able to understand the requirements and you are able to do it you should know the array concept is very important this is one dimensional array i will show you two dimensional three dimensional also i will show you multiple indexes of one dimensional two dimensional three dimensional and how the values are populated it will be a little complicated but you will understand okay so hope this helps i will come up with more videos keep this keep this as your i mean note or something and till then keep studying i will come up with some more videos thank you